thing up here reminds me of my wife. When we were younger, I would take her here and I would promise that one day she would own everything that we see in front of us. I do miss her, Marcus. I always will. I'm sorry, my friend. Thank you, Marcus. Yes? Yes, thank you. Keep an eye on it. We'll be there soon. Has she arrived? Yes, my friend, she's finally arrived. Here you go, Mr. Phillips, Mr. Boyle. Thank you, Mr. Phillips, thank you so much. It's been 25 years coming, my friend, and now it's finally here. A lot of hard work has went into our dream, Marcus. It only saddens me that we're not all here to see it come to an end. And now a new beginning is upon us. It's just a shame you won't be able to see it, Marcus. I beg your pardon? You see, Marcus, this has been a long-term operation. A lot of hard work has gone into realizing our dream. I agree, we've all made sacrifices for this reward. To be honest with you, my friend, I've never been fond of sharing. That's the problem with being an only child. Oh, don't scare me like that. You nearly gave me a heart. Oh. 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 Excellent, Frank. Right on time, too. You're welcome, boss. So what's next? Deliver my message to the hero. I want to look at my city a little while longer. Boys, remove the body and clean it up. Marcus wouldn't like the mess. Leave it your own lunch money. Mr. Philip said I might run into you. Am I supposed to be impressed? No, you're supposed to die. You know, I wish you'd do his end dirty work, or then I would do it with a job. Well, so I want the head of the comments. Consider yourself lucky.
Where are you going? Work. When I know Phillips, you know, I'll be home all more, don't you? Catch him soon. life treating you at the Clyde Reporter. Oh, brilliant, <laughs> thanks for asking. I didn't think we'd be seeing you on the campus anytime soon. Yeah, I just had a few old lecturers to see, just tidying stuff up really. You haven't seen Louise, have you? No, she hasn't been to class in a while. <laughs> I honestly don't even know why she took the course, she was hardly ever there. Well, it doesn't matter, I just wanted to tell her something. All right, anything interesting? Well, I didn't want to jinx it, but they're sending me to London to shadow a top reporter. Amy, that's amazing. Well done. Oh, I really hope it works out for you. Thank you. I'm so nervous. Hey, you're a good reporter. You don't pull any punches and you tell the truth. You're going to make it. It means a lot to me. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> you don't have to say anything. Look, I'm really sorry. I've got to go and get to a class, but I'll, I'll catch up with you soon. You keep in touch, okay? I have something for you. Thank you, Mr. Phillips. I don't know what to say. Not a word, my darling. You're doing a fantastic job here. Consider it a token of appreciation for all the hard work you do in my museum. Just be sure to wear it. Oh, I will, sir. I will. Pretty as a picture. Excellent. Keep up the hard work. Guess who? Mm. Paris Hilton. No, it's me. Well, oh, you had me fooled. <laughs> so anyway, where are you going? I thought you had packing to do. Yeah, I do. I've just got one thing to do first. You've not told them yet? No. And he really needs to know, like now. I'm just worried I'm going to hurt him. Considering this is a guy who tells me nothing, we're doing pretty well. So when are you going to tell him? He's waiting for me at the moment. <sighs> Guess I better go tell him the good news. <sighs> oh, it'll be fine. It's not like you're going away forever. I mean, it's just... Six months. Yeah, it'll fly by. Oh, it'll be OK. Thanks, Sarah. Where do you think you're going? Sorry, Amy. Didn't think you were coming. Oh, no, it's all right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be late. I just got caught up doing stuff. It's all right. You're here now. What do you think? Thanks, though. What's that in your hand? Nothing. Oh, come on, Jason. You had it out for a reason. You wanted me to see it. It's nothing. Nothing important. My name is Amy Marie Campbell. I was born on the 13th of September, 1985. My parents didn't know what to call me, so I was baby for a week. On my first day of nursery, I cried so much they had to send me home. I hate fish. It's disgusting. They call it brain food, but I don't believe that. My biggest fear is being left alone in the dark. And my claim to fame is Fran Healy kissed me on the cheek. It's a lot of information in 60 seconds. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you stuff about me. Yeah, and that's a lot of things. Damn right. Now it's your turn. Tell me something about you. Anything. Yes. Anything at all. As long as it's personal. OK. OK, here's one. I never knew Santa Claus was my parents until I was 12. I meant the letter. 
Well, you did say it, eh? You suck, Mr. Mackenzie. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just not used to sharing things. It's the thing about being an only child. Ah, at last, something personal. I'm feeling so proud right now. So what's up? I'm moving to London. Oh. OK. Have a nice trip. That's it. Have a nice trip. What would you want me to say? Have a safe journey too? <laughs> I don't believe you. What? I thought we were getting somewhere. I thought we were growing closer. I thought we were special. Yeah, well, so did I. Then you stroll along and say you're leaving and move into London. I'll only be away for six months. Yeah, well, maybe I'll be here when you get back. You are unbelievable! This was really hard for me to tell you. Why? Because! Because... Because it was. Goodbye, Jason. Have a nice life. Yeah. Have a safe journey, too. Finally found me, Emmeline. Don't know why you do, Chief. You don't have to do anything, Mullen. That's not true. You know that. You're my partner. We're supposed to work together. Trust each other. How am I meant to trust you when you don't turn up for work and I find you here in a bar drinking? Look, Mullen, just leave me alone. Just go away. Aye, right, Chief. I'm not leaving till you come with me. You're yeah, in for a long wait then, son. He's an orange juice. Oh, this is ridiculous. We're both going to get suspended. It's not like I've not been suspended before. It makes no matter to me. Look, Mullen, I'm fine. Honestly. I just need some time alone. I need time to grieve. I know that, Chief. So why not take some time off work? Go home with your wife. There's nobody waiting for me at home. She's going. <laughs> it's all gone to hell. I'm in a hole. I don't know what to do here. Right. Come on. We're leaving. Where are we going? Anywhere. Anywhere but here. Come on. Ames! Where are you? Ames! I'm ready to know more! I saw something horrible and I need to know what it is! Ames! Your power is no good here. Where's Ames? What have we done with him? He's gone. What do you mean, he's gone? What do you do with him? I did nothing. Ames and I are very close. I would never hurt him. He wouldn't let me get close enough. Just tell me the truth. What's going on? Ames was right. You are aggressive. I'm not leaving until I hear the truth. I can't tell you everything. Then tell me something. Now. 
Very well. Follow me. What is your first question? I had a vision. Worse than any vision that I'd ever had. It was horrible. What was it? A mortal man who's hungry for power has done something terrible. He's made a deal with a terrible demon. What you saw was the result of his foolishness. I saw people, normal people, possessed by demons. They were killing innocent people. How is that possible? Demon possession? It's been around since the beginning of time. It's nothing special. Where do you think your powers come from? I was possessed by a demon. Am I still possessed by a demon? Oh, I think I'm going to be sick. Didn't Ames explain how the process works? <sighs> he is very forgetful. Forgetful? I've got a demon living inside of me. I want it out now. If you insist. But think of all the good that you've done with its help so far. I want it out. Now. But how will you save her from dying if you do not have the power to do so? Do you wish to ask your second question? How do I stop it? Destroy the Queen. She is the key. The Queen? The Buckingham Palace? The foolish mortal has made a deal with an ancient demon. The Queen of her kind. Her body is made of human flesh, but her heart pounds with an ancient power. Kill her and the possession will end. Where do I find her? You'll bump into her. Yep. Right, okay. Yeah, I'll be there, okay? Right, I've got to go and deal with this, Mullen. What? What is it now? It's the wife. I'll see you in half an hour, okay? Right. See you, Chief. Wait a long time to meet you, Mackenzie. It's an absolute pleasure. Who are you? Frank Stone. Of course, you'll know my brother, my twin brother, to be precise. I'm sorry I couldn't save him. Well, it's a good thing you didn't save him, or else you would have interfered with our business. The guy messed up. I'm over it. You let your brother die? Mm -hmm. That's not right. The guy messed up. What can I say? Our employer gave him plenty of warning. You're supposed to look after your brother. Hey. Not hey, get him killed. Hey, don't give me the whole moral of the story, all right? There's more important things going on right now. Yeah? And what's that? Oh, we know all about you. I've done for some time. Uh, we don't mind you dealing with petty thugs, you know, all those little teenagers tripping up old grannies on the way to church or stealing iron brew from the convenience store, you know, have a ball with that, pal. But if you try to interfere with Philip's plans, yeah, we're gonna kill your girlfriend. How did you know she... We know all about you. Don't make me repeat myself. All right, we don't want some superhero interfering with our plans, all right? So, go home, put your feet up, read your superhero comic books, and just have the night off on me, eh? You tell Phillips that he doesn't control me. Oh, but he does. That's just beautiful. <sighs> really hope I'm the one who gets to kill your girlfriend, because I would do it slow.
can't fool me. I know he's still getting to you. No idea what you're talking about. Liar. Look, if he cared about me at all, he would have asked me to stay. He didn't, so he obviously doesn't. Wow. Well, a superhero with normal problems like us. I wonder if Spider-Man ever has these troubles. Very well. Let us complete our journey, boys. My dear, we've waited a long time for your arrival. We've spent a lot of time and energy planning your new beginning. This body is weak. The test proved that this was the most suitable host for you. Don't be so insolent to me, mortal. I do not like it. So the book was correct. The most powerful being in our world stopped by harnessing your powers and this necklace. Give it to me. And you can't even touch the key that would allow you to control us all. Pathetic. They tried to control me. I killed them. Give it to me. If you obey me, then yes. You may have what you require. Agreed. Excellent. Frank, it's time. Distract our little police friends. Stay there, I'll get Jason. You know what? What do you mean? Reports of what? People being possessed? Chief. Chief, what's going on? Where are you? Well, stay there. I'm coming to get you. I'm going for it, Chief.
Hope you kept the receipt. I thought I told you to take the day off. Then I told you to shove it. We don't have to be enemies, Jason. Oh, no. Really, we do. She'll crush you. Fast for it takes. You'll never stop her. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> How pathetically noble of you. Yeah, I'm a bit irritating like that. You're strong, but I'm stronger. Yeah, and we're like fair odds. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That was delicious. Gee, this is going to get interesting. Why do you want to fight me? We could join together and kill these mere mortals. Yeah. That sounds just a wee bit too stereotypical for me, but... You're strong, but I could destroy you while you stand. What say we merge as one and rule this world? Nah. Sounds a little messy. It's your destiny to die, mortal. Freaks like you. But I've got to know where's Philip and how do we stop this? Hold on. Hold on, Ian. Please. Oh, Christ. Oh, jeez. Ian. Oh. Look out. Uh, Look out. Don't clear, Jesus. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry.
Try anything like this again, I will kill you. Just have to wait and see. See you soon. <laughs> 